New ball, game one, time in. Zero, zero. So Kwong Duong on the other side. Side out. As that's just a little bit wide here in the side out to start. Zero, zero. That is in side out to Dong, the avatar, as he is known by his friends. And this guy's game is absolutely wicked, isn't it? It, it really is something to watch and uh, don't want to be on the receiving end of it. He, he has the uh, ball bender nickname because of, of what he can do. And I think he's shown a lot of us what uh, pickleball can really be about with the, hit, the shots and kind of placement that he, uh, he brings to the game. So much of this game is reading, and it is so hard to read what is coming off the paddle of Duong. And that is a winner by Kwong. I remember when he was first playing, like kind of a, a year ago, the extreme Western grip was just really uh, a sight to see. You can see it here even on the, on the serve, which he goes for a lot. He can create a lot of top spin out of some funky, Boy. funky positions. So the mood immediately changes when Duong comes here to Humana Championship Court. So exciting three, zero, zero. to watch him play. And right now a 3-0 lead on Ben Johns. And Johns pops that up Boy. uncharacteristically. So four straight now by Kwong. Four zero. zero. Point. About five in a row. And we won't see a timeout from Ben. He, he doesn't do it unless he's pretty gassed in the third game. And five, zero, zero. Slow starts are not really too foreign for him, but Wong is firing on all cylinders right now. Side out. Yeah, sometimes when Ben loses that first game, it's almost like he's got the opposition right where he uh, wants yeah. them, right? In a, in a sick, twisted way by the living goat. That, that is actually how it has happened for the last few years. Wow. Beautiful. Kind of a hybrid drop there from Ben. Cross court. Kitchen Fong coming in. So Ben Johns finally on the board here. It's 1 5. And there's the best of Ben coming through. For sure. Classic kind of Ben, cat and mouse. He, he can play certainly a lot of game styles. You see when you've only lost 19 times total and you play the most matches of anyone, you're certainly very good. But his OG cat and mouse is, is a fun pickleball specific thing that many folks still haven't caught up to. Oh, how about that point? Good recovery there from Kwong. Doing it, ripping backhand. You'll notice how low he gets. You know, there's certainly a little bit of wrist movement, but, you know, the brushing up on the on the outside and underside of the ball is what really gives him the ability to kind of drop that in anywhere. So they'll switch out the ball here. 5-2 lead for the number 10 seed. Five, two, Facing the number one here. <laughs> ATP not even Light close out, that yeah. time for Duong. Been a long time proponent of uh, apologizing for the accidental net cord there. Knows you kind of get away with one, especially as that ball traveled way out, way out wide. Looking forward here, Ben John's throne in singles has been threatened just a bit in 2024. Who do you think is the greatest 
long-term threat? Is it Staxrud? Is it Sock? Is it Garnett? Is it Alshon? I'll let you take in this point and then come up with your answer here. Fight out. I think Fed certainly been so consistent this year and so threatening. Um, but over the long term, if we take a maybe a year or two long time frame, I think Christian Alshon is the one mm -hmm. that may be facing Ben in the finals the most or, uh, Fight. you know, but it's not to take anything away from Fed. He's, he's certainly so, so good and, and earned it. And he's put in the reps to really be a top competitor in singles. Meanwhile, Duong is like, guys, what about me? As he is able to score again and make it 6-3. Talk about consistency here on the Carvana PP Tour, not just having a few good events and tour stops, but being able to be consistent throughout the year. And Duong, could he potentially be that next guy? He's looking like it right now. Great crash there from Fong Ready. Ready to clean up whatever he got back. And that's the second really point, funky point. miss return there from Ben. But we'll go to our, I think our third ball here in, in game one, but the thing that impresses me about Kwong is obviously there's the flash and the uniqueness of stroke, but he's really put in the work and when you're facing guys week in, week ball, out, ball. they're going to find the holes. Eight, and three, I think three. he's really started to clamp down on, on the things that he may have been missing to be able to get to the round of 16 and get to the quarters as consistently as he's doing. And then mm. shot making like that is, there's only a few on tour that can consistently pull that against the number one player in the world. Hard to believe too, just 18 years old for Kwong Duong. As he's taken a 9-3 lead on the best in the game, Ben Johns. Quarterfinal action nine, here nine, from three. Houston. And right now, Ben's shots are going awry here, and that's got to be the velocity, the spin coming from Duong. For sure, and I think Ben knows that he Game needs point. to get in on, on that return because if he's not in a, a split-step and stable position, he may have a passing shot going against him. So impressive here from Duong to bring the firepower. Fight out. That said, having been around Pro Pickleball enough, you'll know that this is, as you were leading off, Drew, this is not uh, non-traditional for uh, for Ben. He's He's been in these positions. He's faced match points, and we're only here in game one, but it really is a testament to how much he, he trusts himself to perform in the big moment. Big overhead right there from Ben. 4-10 now. Timeout receiver, 4-10. impressive kind of showing today here on Thursday. Ben Johns trailing by six, game one. And easy pickings there for Ben. shot that time from Duong. If you are Ben Johns, how tough is it, Ryan, to beat a talent like this again and then have to come back the next week and do it again? So difficult. Game point taken care of from Kwong Duong, 11-5. The official ball of the PPA Tour. Ben 
Johns concedes game one, trying to make a comeback here in game two against a very hungry Quang Duong. Good start. That's how you draw it up. One, zero, zero. And Duong, that two-handed backhand, cross court. Great rip there from Kwong. The thing that stands out to me about the two-handed backhand from him is, you know, he generates so much top spin, but he also holds it, and it really gives his opponent's been in this case, you know, a freeze frame, and he can kind of send it any way after that. Point. Uncharacteristic missed return there from Ben, but I think he had two in the first game, so uh, something about Kwong's serve is giving a little bit of trouble here. Side out. And that strikes that guaranteed rate sign. Ben Johns, 25 years old, had that short drive over from Austin. One, one, one. Oh, well played. Quang looking a little defeated there. But ben, look at Ben's lateral movement here. Just he knows where to be Two, one, one. at the right time because he's most of the time dictating shots. Now, got to mention, too, in the earlier one, matches today, Ryan, the near court has been the favorable side. But right now, Ben John's making it look like that is not the case. For sure. Ben has turned on his game remote here and Classic John's inside out Three, one, forehand there led to a clean winner. Point, point. And now off the mark here from Duong, who has to be thinking at some point, perhaps timeout. For sure. Four, one, one. Oh, wow. Oh, Great stretch from Ben, but even more important is in knowing that was going to come back cross court or reasonably predicting so. So uh, just a veteran going to X's and O's move there from Ben. Duong finally able to put it away, but the damage is done. Ben Johns with a 5-1 lead. In game number two, and he has got the momentum of this match back right now. One, five, five. Point, point. There, the problems with the return continue. For sure. Kong doing a good job of getting those balls deep and, you know, generating a lot of topspin here at the center. And once Another again. One. Yeah. Point, point. Oh, you rarely see this. I mean, two or three per game is just not something any of the top singles guys can be really doing. Never mind Ben. Three, five, five. Just took a wicked hop that time. Beautiful backhand roll. No chance from Kwong to get to that one after leaving that one just a bit high. That is the five, one five, shot three. in Ben's arsenal. When he pulls that out, it is just about all over, no matter who you are. I know, I feel like you could replace that with that's I one know, of the five shots, Drew, mm -hmm. you know? Man, oh man. <laughs> He's just so, he has so many, so many weapons. So many weapons. Three, five, five. Side out back to Duong. Three, five here. Looking to continue to pressure the number one player in the world. Oh, needs that one. Did it get the line? Yes, it did. No, no, it did not. Five, three, three. Five out. Doing a good job of not panicking here, staying within himself. Three, five. Three, five. Point. 
Yeah, you watch Duong serve, it's, it's almost like he's playing table tennis, isn't it? For sure. And as long as that paddle tip is, is making contact with it below his wrist, he's, he's in good, he's in the clear, but. And looking a little frustrated here, not happy, even though he gets that clean put away. So I think he's gonna try to start to cruise here. As long as he doesn't give away points on the returns, he's, he's been doing well here in game two. Let's serve, we'll do it again. Johns' lead's been cut to one. Well, it looked like it was a little bit wide. Johns decides to return it. And we play on. I'm telling you, it looked like that, that return shot from Duong did not get the line there. Let's take one more look. Uh, right there. Looks like yeah. it's clearly wide. That may have good call, Drew. That is a small miss there from Ben. Actually, not so small here in game two when he's down a game. And Ben electing to go for the tweener here. Been a little bit casual and loose. But all tied up here at five. Five, five, five. Oh. Incredible point there as Ben shakes his head. Able to handle that net cord, the very unlucky kind of bounce, but Kwong doing a good job of ripping that two-handed backhand clean. Six, five, five. So for the first time here in game two, Kwong Duong has the lead 6-5 over the number one. Ben with a finish. Small note there is Ben kind of angling that, that put away down and away. It's so subtle because if you don't make that kind of one inch adjustment with your wrist, you're sending that ball back to Kwong at the baseline to potentially rip again. And we may have a new ball coming out here on the championship court. So switching balls here, is that good thing, bad thing? A little bit of personal preference. I think most folks would elect, as long as it's in in round, would elect to stay with the same one. But um, new ball in terms of starting a new game has really introduced the fact that it's going to happen. Sure. Many, many times in a long match. Six, five, five. Duong now serving with the lead. And tons of confidence he is wow. bringing right now. Long just swinging free and loose and, and and really, really ripping. Pressure moment here for Ben. Side out. Well, if you're Ben Johns, the time is right Five, now. Seven. Otherwise, at risk here of another big upset here in Houston. We are on the verge Side of it out. right now. Just wow, Kwong bringing a lot of pressure there. Ben able to fend it off. But he needs to get something going. I feel like the bringing Kwong up to the kitchen, the little bit of the soft drop game has been a little bit more favorable for Ben. Ground strokes have not been firing on all cylinders. But Kwong in control right now. One of Duong's biggest goals really promoting and expanding the game of pickleball in Asia, giving back to his native Vietnam as well, helping grow this game globally.
Ben Johns on top of it, but just a little bit wide. Wow. So big miss that time for Ben, and now a three-point lead. Fight out. Fight out. Ben shaking his head quite a bit is is not himself right now in game two. Back is up against the wall. He's been stuck on five for, I believe, four side outs. Okay, gets one there. Tough backhand ATP sails in. It's Johns battling Duong here on Humana Championship Court, the Veolia Houston Open, presented by Just Courts. And the number one player in the world certainly frustrated, to say the least, here over these last two games. Eight, six, six. And that sails along, so been a little fortunate not to give away a point. A uh, quick look at Kwong's father, who's, uh, you'll see, always on the side courts training Kwong up along with his brother. And uh, certainly is kind of a, a mainstay voice with him in the timeout around the box. Talk about also a big get for Selkirk and the influence that Duong is going to have moving forward in Asia and Vietnam specifically. 8-6 now, serving. Another winner from Kwong Duong. He is closing in on a quarterfinal upset here. Nine, six. Side out. Duong burst on the scene back in Atlanta last year. PPA tour stop there. It's getting better and better ever since, but what a bright future for the 18-year-old. Great cover there from Ben. That's such a hard forehand volley, not knowing if Kwong's going to pull that cross court, and he had to handle that, that net court. So uh, big point there for Ben as he tries to force a game three. Oh! <laughs> wow. Wow, an amazing get there from Kwong from, a, I mean, that's one of the best ATPs I think Championship Court, Championship Court has ever seen. How did he just do that? Side out now for Duong. And Ben comes right back. A little luck with the net cord. Wind side out once again. But man, oh man, we are seeing some high level Seven, nine, singles nine. pickleball. Point. Good shots there from Ben. May have gone away with a, a line call there by Kwong, but. That would just be returning the favor from a, an earlier game one miss from Ben, Eight, but nine, nine. within one now. Ben Johns puts it away very calmly. We're tied at nine. nine, nine. See dad nine, doing a lot of talking. Juan did not acknowledge him, but I guarantee you he heard every single word. Big moment here in this match. And Ben can't get to it. Nine, nine. Oh, what a
What wow. a shot. Along with match point here in the quarterfinal. Match point. A potential big upset. Ten, nine. Let's see if he can close it out. Point. And there wow. it is. Oh, he's done it. Quang Duong gets it done over the number one player in the world. When the world sleeps, greatness rises. And while others dream of the next level, we chase it. Challenging every limit. Turning obstacles into stepping stones. Because the next level isn't just handed to you. It's earned. Go next level with 6-0 Pickleball. Kwong joins us now. Courtside, you have got to be gassed. Some amazing <laughs> points and gets you came up with. But going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ben Johns, you know you're going to see the best in the world. Tell us what you're going through out there, and especially in this match, this great victory. Um, yeah, like um, like the same strides always against Ben. Um, try not to get pickle. Always try to just do your best. Gets every point. I mean, he's <laughs> the best of the best. So you, you can't really expect much. Um, but yeah, and then I go with, I go through with some strategies with my dad before the match. And yeah, basically the always like the main goal is just to fight every point. <laughs> And that you did, Kwong. Uh, question about your dad. Did he change anything up in the strategies while you were at the timeouts, or was he just reiterating what you guys had established headed into the match? Um, a little uh, reiterating, a little changing of the, um, some strategies. I mean, I mean, Ben also adapted very, uh, very well in the second set. Um, it was very, very close. Um, yeah, we did change some uh, change of strategy for a bit, and yeah, it was good. Kwong, you're one of the emerging stars on this tour. You got the nickname, Avatar, you got all the tools. Do you ever just stop and tell yourself, man, I am living a dream right now in the Carvana PPA Tour? Uh, no, no, not yet. I, I gotta keep grinding, gotta keep training every day, uh, even harder every day now. So, but yeah, I'm still, um, as far as, um, well, as it goes, I'm enjoying every moment on the court. Well, Kwong, we enjoy watching you play, and best of luck the rest of the way, and keep it on going, man. Thank you. And lastly, I promised my brother, um, what's up, brothers? Special teams, special plays, special players. Thank you.